Hey everyone, this is Financial Literacy 101. And you know, quite recently I just bought a home. And as soon as you buy a home, you have a lot of solicitors. But this one, make it though, it seems the way the wording is, the way the information comes across, is buying mortgage protection insurance. Okay, mortgage protection insurance. And the way they make it um, seem as though some of the verbiage, some of the writing seems pretty legal that you actually need this particular protection insurance. Now, we know that most homes you're going to have, if you have a mortgage, you're going to have your mortgage, you're going to have your home insurance, and then you're going to have a home warranty for your appliances, for your major appliances like your AC units, your refrigerator, your dishwasher, your stove, etc. Then people will like to throw in, or companies rather, will like to throw in your mortgage protection insurance, okay? Um, a lot of times it's often guaranteed acceptance regardless of you know your health status okay um you don't have to take a medical exam most times and it's automatically guaranteed now you have major health problems and you can't qualify for a normal term life insurance policy mortgage protection insurance may be worth considering may be worth considering but if you're in the situation considering the cost of a mortgage protection insurance policy versus the cause of your family losing the home if you die, okay? So essentially, if there's a, a few people uh, that are on the, the loan itself, um, you know, husband and wife, etc., then if one dies, that other person still has to pay the mortgage. And that's where mortgage protection insurance come into play. Now, the potential risk likely would be too great to take on without some sort of mortgage protection insurance. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, th and this is the this is the three reasons why I believe you should avoid mortgage protection insurance. I know I gave you kind of the bluff up front of what's good about it. But here are some reasons why I believe that you should avoid it. One, it's expensive. It's absolutely it absolutely is expensive. For a policy that offers diminishing benefits over time, mortgage protection insurance is surprisingly pricey. It is. Uh, let's say, for example, a State Farm in December of 2017, I believe, um, a 25-year-old woman living in Illinois would pay as little as $22.45 a month to cover $100,000. So $100,000 worth of coverage. Now, however, if the same woman were to buy a 30-year level term insurance policy with $100,000 worth of coverage, she'll pay as little as $16 in uh, $16 to $17 a month, according to certain um, entities that I looked at the information. I believe one of them was Policy Genius, if you want to look this um, information up. Level term insurance offers a level death benefit for a level month premium throughout the life of your chosen term. So if you're paying less for a death benefit that stays uh, the same throughout the life of your mortgage, then guess what? It's probably not for you. But of course, life insurance prices can vary depending on your age, your health. So make sure you run out your numbers before you decide if this is the best option for you. Okay, here's another one. Your mortgage is just one piece of the puzzle. If you purchase a mortgage protection insurance policy, you may think you're in the clear, but <laughs> there are several other reasons you need life insurance, especially if you have children. Now, according to some research and some consulting firms, the top three reasons people buy life insurance are to cover burial and other financial expenses, help replace lost income of a wage earner, and transfer wealth or leave an inheritance. So again, Coverage burial when someone dies and other financial expenses help replace lost income of a wage earner. So the breadwinner of the home, essentially, and then transfer wealth or leave of an inheritance. OK, so instead of buying separate life insurance policies for your mortgage and other needs, keep it simple and get one policy to cover everything. OK, now the lender is your beneficiary. This is another reason the lender is your beneficiary. With a conventional term life insurance policy, your beneficiaries are typically loved ones who get to decide what to do with your money. With mortgage protection insurance, however, the lender is typically the beneficiary and it uses the money to pay off the debt. 
there is no flexibility whatsoever. There's no flexing left and right. Let me allocate money here. Let me allot money there. No, there's no flexibility whatsoever. That means your family doesn't have the option. Your family does not have the option to use the coverage to pay for the funeral costs or replace your lost income. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Look, if, you, if you've been receiving mail about mortgage protection insurance, look at some of these reasons I gave you why to avoid it and you really probably don't need it and that you might just need a good life insurance, whether it be term or perm, but most people will tell you that term is the way to go. That way you can negotiate because when you're on permanent, things, uh, the option and the options that you may have are not as flexible as a term life insurance. But when you buy a home or when you refi a home, you would tend to see letters in the mail telling you that you need a mortgage protection insurance. And let me tell you, by law, you do not need one. They word it in a way to pressure you in order to get this insurance. There you have it. Learn money and be inspired. And guess what? If you want mortgage protection insurance, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just giving you three reasons why you shouldn't get it. I'm out.